friends, today we are going to talk about fact families. We'll be using arrays to show multiplication equations and division equations that are related. So I'm going to draw an array here for you. Now, I know that this array is a 2 times 3 array. And I know this because there are two rows, one, two, and three columns, one, two, three. I can say that two times three equals six because there are six total counters in my array. Now, I can also say that three times two equals six. All I did was flip flop these two numbers and I can do that in multiplication because of the commutative property of multiplication. Okay. Now, let's take a look at how we can write a division equation for this array. When writing a division equation, you have to start with your number called a dividend. And your dividend is the biggest number in your equation. We will be using the numbers 2, 3, and 6. Hang on, I don't think you can see that. We will be using the numbers 2, three, and six in this fact family. And the biggest number in that fact family is the six. So I'm going to use the six as my dividend. Six divided by, I'm gonna use a division symbol right there. Now I'm either going to write two or three. I'm gonna do two first. Six divided by two equals. This number, the two, is the divisor the divisor right here. We have the dividend and the divisor so far. So take a look up here at my array. I am saying with this division equation that I have six counters and I am going to divide them into two equal groups. Here we go. Here's one group and here's another group. Two equal groups. How many counters are in each of my groups? Three. That's going to be your quotient or your answer to your division equation. So we have six divided by two equals three. Six counters divided into two equal groups gives you three counters in each group. Here's what you can also do with division. I'm going to start with my, or sorry, start with my dividend, my biggest number. But this time, I'm going to pick a different divisor. Instead of 2, I'm going to use 3 as my divisor. 6 divided by 3 equals blank. I'm going to try to find my quotient now. All right, I'm going to redraw this array really fast. And this time I'm going to put it in orange so that you can see the difference in what I'm doing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. Now, I have 6 counters and I'm going to divide them into three equal groups. One, two, three. How many counters do I have in each of my three equal groups? Well, I have two counters in each of my three equal groups. And now, my friends, right here, we have a fact family. This is a fact family here. Our fact family has two, three, and six in it. All those three numbers are related in our fact family. In each of our equations, we have a two, a three, and a six. Let's check it to make sure. We have a two, a three, and a six. 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 All of those numbers work together to make a fact family. And we can also say, knowing what we know about fact families now, that multiplication and division are related. See how you can use the same numbers in your multiplication and your division equations? Knowing multiplication will help you learn your division facts. So pay attention to those fact families when you find them, and that will help you be a master at division.